Hey everyone, it's TOEFL speaking time. Buckle up, because today we are going to transform your low 20 scores into high 20 powerhouses, all thanks to the magic of topic development. Remember, strong topic development is the secret sauce for high scores in both writing and speaking. Let's jump right in with the student response. Personally speaking, I think that people cannot be considered very successful if they have only the power and money. In fact, there are many other aspects of a person's success, such as relationships. For example, if a businessman he is very successful on his business, he has the absolute power and a lot of money. However, he is spending a lot of time at work, so he doesn't have the time to spend with his family and he screws up all his relationship in exchange for his power and money. And in that case, I don't think the businessman is very successful. The student's pronunciation and prosody are incredible, practically native-like. Yes, somehow they scored a surprising 23. What's the culprit? Let's dissect their response. Delivery, almost perfect. 93rd percentile in rhythm and 99 in vowels. Wow, that's impressive. Sustained speech and discourse coherence? Not so much. These areas are dragging the score down. Think of sustained speech as speaking on autopilot. You won't flow smoothly without pauses or frantic searches for words or ideas. Discourse coherence, on the other hand, is about keeping your ideas connected and relevant. To score high, you need to add details, paint vivid pictures, and draw compelling inferences from your examples. Let me show you how to improve these areas with a sample response. Begin speaking after the beep. Success isn't all about having money and power. True success in life is made up of elements that make one's life meaningful and happy. To illustrate my point, imagine a rich and powerful businessman who has it all. Yachts, mansions, Bugattis, and Ferraris. He can make or break someone's life with a flick of his fingers. But despite his wealth and power, he's lonely and empty inside. To rise to his current position, he sacrificed his family and friends. He loves no one and no one loves him. All his relationships are superficial. People like him only for his money and power. This businessman's fate is similar to King Midas, who wished for everything he touched to turn to gold. No one would consider King Midas successful. Nor should we consider the businessman. 